Okay, guys, so before we go into this episode, we have an announcement to make, and this is something we've been working on for a while, and that is that... We have a Patreon account, Woo-hoo. so you guys are going to get an extra episode every Wednesday, and I feel like it's going to be more uncensored, which is I've been waiting for for the longest time. They've been waiting for the longest time. You guys have wanted an extra episode weekly, and we're bringing it to you now, and inshallah, that's going to help us put more work into the podcast, and it's just going to be a safe space for us Me to be to us. talk rubbish <laughs> and i feel like more chilled um yeah the vibes on there that we have we're starting off with just an extra episode but obviously as we progress inshallah we want to be able to bring more stuff for you but we're not going to tell you till we're doing it yeah um but yeah i just think an extra episode every wednesday um is exciting yeah and it just gives you guys a chance to support us as well just so we can put more effort into the podcast and we do want to do this full time i think this is something that we love so much and we want to put as much effort into it as possible so it's hard to do that when you have other things Mm. but i think definitely like i've said to myself i want this to be my thing and um yeah we're making that happen for you guys so we would appreciate it so much if you could please support go check it out and if you're watching this in the future then it means that when you subscribe, there's going to be hundreds probably of episodes yeah, for you to watch. Yeah, that's so mad because people always go from the bottom up. You're yeah. eventually going to get to this. Find out we have a Patreon and you, when you subscribe, there's not just going to be one. There's going to be so many extra episodes that you can watch, which is going to be amazing to be honest. And if you're starting from the first, then you're OG. Yeah. But yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> Make sure you guys check it out. Who are we talking bro? shit about first? <laughs> What's the most toxic thing you've ever done? But I commented it on his life. It's all that bad. Yeah, listen, <laughs> well, I'm getting a bit peckish. <laughs> I'm a big boy. <laughs> if you went to a whole okay, nother that's... country and didn't tell me. <laughs> and, <it was> <laughs> <you>. <laughs> and I looked at my phone and I missed the mute button. Because I did want to ask that, but I was like, guys, oh, a bit too, oh. too much. Exclusive thing. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're fully, 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 100% over that situation? Well... Basically, yo, what's good, people? Welcome back to the sadly relatable podcast. We're back, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kills me every time. That one was a bit more blunt, though. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Do it better. Come on, go. Okay, go, okay, go. cool. <clears throat> Can we do the? No, no just, just the last line. Um, sadly relatable podcast. We're back, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Why did you go so high pitch? Beyonce Ray. <laughs> that was Come funny. On, We've got a comedian on the show. You're going to have you to do better than that. You're going to have to up your game. Come yeah. on. Ray, laugh at my joke. Beyonce Ray. Mm, sorry. Welcome back, guys. Um, yeah, today, as you can see, we have the one, the only, Rafe 24-7, the pioneer of the POV, the man that will shout you out or call you out if you try to copy his stuff. And he's not ashamed. He'll comfort your throat and make sure that you're not the goat. Ooh, that was cold. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, it? Yeah, because you go for goat's throats when you want to... Literally slaughter the man. Yeah. Don't come around here. I'll you stab you in your hand. What? I'm quite good. This guy's cold. <laughs> Does he not freestyle around you? All the time. Oh. Yeah, I can't help you it. You guys are so cute and... Thank you. ...in love. I've noticed it. Like, earlier you were like, no, no, actually, no, I can see it stressing you out. Let me not. Oh, so that cute. That is good, but that's thoughtful. That means he's going to be a good man to his wife. You're considerate. You're considerate. He's a good man, Savannah. He's a good man, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, guys, yeah, so um, We have back. a interesting episode for you guys today. I've got some questions to ask men. <laughs> and um, we also have, like, a little funny segment that Ayub has Ooh, planned. I've got a funny segment. And, yeah, we've got some interesting things with our guest, Ray. If you haven't seen our first episode of Ray, go and watch it. We asked you guys to give us 1,000 likes if you want to see him again. And you have exceeded expectations. We're proud of you. And you, you got exactly 1,000 likes. Oh, it's exactly 1,000. No, but they got the exact number. <laughs> no, but I think that was hit ages ago. We're finally bringing him on. If you yeah. want to see him again, let's get this episode to 2,000 likes. Ooh. And then we'll bring him on again. Shut so, up. yeah, hit the Shut like up. button right now, guys, and comment. Don't forget to share and subscribe. And let's jump into it. Ray, I have a question. All right, let's get Because we haven't seen you in a while. Tell me, what are three things that you've learned in this past year and in this past that you're taking into 2024 okay um be very protective of yourself mm-hmm. when who you give your time to especially when it comes to relationships and things like that but even friendships i've also realized that not everyone is nice mm-hmm. i always always have this bad thing of giving people the benefit of the doubt yeah you know what i'm saying and then you learn the hard way and then you become more um 
you put walls up in front of you next next time you're getting to know people. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And I guess that's why they say relationships are haram and things like that because you become more and more of a difficult person moving forward. Yeah, to be honest, I do understand that. I think it's it's sad because in a in a way, it's better to be someone that gives people the benefit of the doubt. That's a trait, is yeah, that yeah. we're meant to have. You have but, to love openly and care yeah, openly. But the more you do it, it, the more hard it becomes, the more you get burned. If that no one sense. talks about the battle of making excuses for people and trying not to let people screw you over. Like that's an internalized battle of, okay, I need to hold people accountable for what they do, but at the same time, I can't help but make excuses. But where do I draw the line at making excuses? Like I need to hold them accountable, otherwise it's just gonna keep happening. It's so hard, I'm not gonna lie. That's something I struggled with like Give people the benefit of the doubt, doubt until they give you a reason not to. Yeah, yeah, but then even when they give me a reason not to, I'm like, oh no, but they've got this and this. and But if, they're, if I was in their situation, maybe this, this. I don't know. I just feel like, like you said, not letting people walk over you is like a big one. The thing is, um, I know exactly what you mean. And I feel like, Ray, that is a trait that you have where you're very well, like... That's not Andrew Tate. Yeah, literally. <laughs> imagine looking at this. Tell me about myself. Um, you're very, very, very patient, very like understanding, but there's only so much that you, you can handle. You said last time we was hanging outside the podcast, you said I'm too patient to the point it's not good. How is that a thing? In the sense of, I feel like you put yourself in positions where, not that you don't stand up for yourself, but sometimes there has to be a line, that just a line doesn't get crossed. Boundaries. Boundaries. Yeah. You can't just keep letting people walk over that line, walk over that line, because yeah. you then slowly deteriorate as, a, you, as a man. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And not just that, like you said, it's sad that if the more times people burn you, the more you tend to change in a negative way, negative way and you see people in, maybe in a different light or treat them differently. But if you're able to know your limits... I feel like that's th- something I've learned since the last time you were on the podcast. Yeah. Ray, Where- one thing... I'm Sorry to interrupt you. I just want to get out of my brain. And I feel like we jumped into like the depression side of things pretty quick. Well, it's a sadly relatable podcast. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah. <laughs> one thing I would say is maybe if you see that it's a reoccurring thing, yeah. um, one thing I learned or that I heard as well is telling people what you've dealt with in the past like let's say you meet someone and you tell them yeah this girl done this to me and this happened to me and this happened to me they say not to do that you can touch on things but not to do that because it's like you're teaching them how far they can take it Mm -hmm. so maybe like in your next situation which is what i'm assuming you're speaking about don't tell her too much of what you've dealt with i haven't dealt with much well, then you're just complaining for nothing. Then, yeah, then you? I'm not. I'm complaining I'm about joking. the situation. I'm joking. I'm joking. But you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. if you say, "Oh yeah, she cheated on me 17 times," and I took. <laughs> I am not gonna <laughs> let that happen, bro. What? <laughs> she I, took I do have some boundaries. Okay? <laughs> I'm not that patient. <laughs> get that literal, yeah, just like, the most extreme example. <laughs> I don't know, because you lot are speaking about him like he can just get walked over. <laughs> yeah, that is a bit bad. I think we do sound a bit like too over the top, like anything happens to you, just let it go. No, I'd say as, as of the last few months, I've, I've learned, yeah. Okay, so happen. how many times can someone Have I been cheat cheated on? Uh, can, how many times can someone cheat on you before you're like, this is enough? One. <laughs> One time. So you never take... That's actually one you of my You know what, Yes, I'll tell you an interesting story. So I've never been in a relationship. Yeah. However, me personally, if I start speaking to someone, from that point moving forward, I don't really like to entertain other conversations. And I let that be known. I'm like, um, it's this new generation of having a roster and speaking to multiple people is like norm now. And I've never normalised that for myself ever. I've never understood that either. And the only person I know that does that is sitting behind the camera watching us right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is a bit mad. Yeah. Like. So what um, I found out I said this to one girl one time <laughs> and uh, guess how I clocked that she was talking to another guy how I feel like when I'm speaking to someone I'm very observant with the way they behave and stuff yeah of course and I clock onto little things and patterns and behaviour really easily so this girl put up a selfie on a snapchat and then she said she was going away somewhere for the weekend then she came back and put the same selfie on a story again so mm-hmm. I was like, you added someone on your snap in between that time. That oh, you met you're there. clever. Yeah, just oh, from that. Even I, I didn't wanted them that. to see it. Yeah, and then a few, few weeks after that, she must have put a post up on Instagram and uh, all her friends were commenting and one guy commented and I clicked on his profile and he was from the place that she oh, went And then she was following damn, him. Stalkery. She was following him. So I kind of clocked on from that. And it's, it's weird because <laughs> even my dad told me time ago, I remember he said this once, I didn't understand it because I was a bit younger. He was like, when you're with someone for years... If something's off, you clock straight away. Yeah. yeah. You'd only known her two years. weeks. <laughs> huh? You'd only known her for two weeks. I don't know. But with me, within even a month, I think I was seeing someone for a month on time and um, I, f- I felt like they were emotionally manipulating me. Yeah. And I realised because she would never call me at work. 
Yeah. And then one day she just called me and then straight away I was like, this is off. You never do this. Yeah, yeah. And then later on in the evening she started asking for some big favours and I was like, okay, uh, you was trying to warm me up for a favour. Uh, so, so then, go back, go, that's sad. That, that's sad that girls do no. <laughs> <laughs> I like to just straight out, if I need something, just straight out say it. Like, I'm not going to sit there and be like, haven't spoken to someone in ages. Like, hey, how are you? Yeah, yeah good. Yeah. I'll just be like, look, I'm really busy, but can you lend me 10,000 Yeah, I'd, ra- I'd rather people be straight up. Going back to what you said earlier, you said this new generation of women having rosters and like speaking to multiple and guys and men, of course, obviously. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> so well, that's yeah. obvious, but I'm saying I have a friend and not a lot of my friends um, are like that, but I have had a couple of friends in my lifetime where that's been a thing. Like mm-hmm. they'll be speaking, especially like because she's on this match and it's very much an active thing for our whole friendship, not going to lie, where she'll be like, Oh yeah, I'm going on a date with this one, or she'll literally maybe even date. But it's not. Isn't that like the opposite thing? Two of people at the same day. Isn't Ms. Matt meant to be the different no, thing? No, no, no. Huh? Isn't Ms. Matt meant to be a whole different? Like no, you're not wait. meant to be doing dates. No, no, yeah. no. Let me explain. Because her intentions aren't to go out and do. It's like the one she likes the most in that period of time. Yeah. She'll then cut all the others off. Yeah. But there might be a time where she's speaking to four different guys. When you say speaking or seeing. Not see, it won't be a case of seeing and meeting up and but like they'll be speaking for like maybe a period of weeks hmm. and then she goes out on de- a couple of dates and she'll measure up her options or what one she likes most. I just don't understand how people can like multitask that. Like, yeah, how well, are you talking to like that's four someone people with undiagnosed ADD? Yeah, <laughs> who gets hyper fixated on one thing at yeah. a time. I have not got the ability to concentrate on like speaking. Yeah, yeah. Because she must have got things time. confused. Like one guy said he's going to see his dad. The other one saying he's going to see his cousin. He's like, oh, how's your cousin? He's like, what? I've never seen my cousin. <laughs> yeah, you, you know forgot I mean? about like, who you have a conversation with. No, because yeah. she doesn't see it as she's seeing them. She yeah. sees it as like, it's just like having friends. Know. It's just like, they're just friends. But from experience, yeah. Do you not think when you meet someone that you like, you don't feel the need to want to speak to anyone else anyway? Oh, Me personally, I... Like, it just naturally happens in the sense, well, what you said, I'm high fixated. I won't have to sit there and be like, oh, I can't reply to this person. I just won't. Yeah. My te- if my attention's all on one person, it's yeah. on you and it's not going to be difficult for me to not... I don't even speak to anyone now when I, I'm single. Yeah. yeah. So I just, I was just ignoring say, like, everyone for no one. I just don't think... <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't even imagine being in a situation where there's multiple people and I'm having a conversation. I feel like if, if I ever speak to one person, it would be speaking to one person. Yeah. I can't even find one person. <laughs> I can't even find one person I like, let alone five I like one person every three years. That's what I realised. There's an average to it. I like one person. How close are you until the three-year mark now? <laughs> uh, Two I years. I don't want to say it because then the person will be like, oh, he liked me. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Would they them. not know, though, if you like them? No, I don't really express myself that well. What? Like, okay. You know, the last, <laughs> last podcast... <laughs> you looked annoyed. What was that? <laughs> On the last podcast, yeah. you told us that you had never been on a talking stage for past a month. Has that changed? Yeah. <gasps> oh, and what happened? Uh... It was a month and a week. <laughs> yeah, we sat down one day and she was like, so, you know, she, I feel like she read me and she was like, I feel like you don't want to get married to me, do you? <gasps> and, and you didn't. And what did you say? Oh, obviously like, he didn't marry her. Was, the hell, I think you'd know if he did. Yeah, and then <laughs> I, after that, we kind of just... Did you say, oh, damn, how did you clock? <laughs> 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 or did she make that you that would be so rude like it's an episode of Scooby Doo <laughs> <laughs> damn these and I would have gone kids. away with it too it was some of those meddling kids nah <laughs> like what is this nah but uh, we sat down and off that no I want to know your response please I, I was like uh, um, uh, uh, oh. <laughs> that's so sad uh, yeah bro she, she was quite upset and I was why ups- would you lead her on? wait did she did I her saying that her make on. you realise okay hold on hold on I didn't lead her on because I did like her yeah but I just realised this isn't it. When did you realise you... So did her saying you don't want to marry me make me think, wait, you're right, I don't want to marry you. Or was it you knew before you didn't want to marry her? I just liked hanging out with her. So you... So, you, yeah. But I never said to her, like... You're, We're getting married. Oh, yeah, this is a relationship. So it was like... Oh, oh okay, okay. But... Yeah. Um, you knew what this was, Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wait, so... Woman empowering woman. <laughs> woman or woman crime. So... How did you let her down, like... Slowly or? Let her down. Like, you had to, like, break the news. How'd you do it? I kind of said, like, yeah, you're right. And uh, then she started balling up. And then I was upset that I made her upset. Me ever cry if a man told me he doesn't want me? Absolutely not. Sorry. Stop swearing. Sorry, sorry. She just gets so angry. I know. Men you telling people heal, they don't want me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, she, off that, I sent her some long paragraph apologising and stuff. And then she said, let's just be friends. And by 
me being an idiot I'm, I've never done that ever in my life, by the way. Usually when like I realize something doesn't work out, I keep it stepping. But I was like, all right, let's be friends. And that's when I realized I was being taken advantage <laughs> of. Because <laughs> I'm still caring for her. Like I really care for yeah. her. Yeah. And friends then, never uh, works. Yeah, it just, it doesn't work. Friends with, you can't be friends with someone you've had feelings for. I didn't have feelings. That's too much. You liked, you, you liked. Yeah. Isn't that feelings? I think... If you're being smart about a situation, I think you should say you have a mahram involved and stuff like that. You can take as long as you want. You can do it for a whole year as long as you're doing it Islamically. That's yeah. absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying you doesn't take, like, not a month, sorry. My point is this. Someone can lie to you for like 10 years if they really want yeah, to. And then you find out who they are when you get married. That's what I mean. You'll never really know. So after a month, I feel like you're going to take in majority of the stuff if you've seen them in a, a lot of different situations. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Maybe it takes a little bit longer to see them in them situations. Like maybe when they get a little bit more frustrated or see how they act in those situations. But a lot of people, like, it, not much is going to change, if that makes sense. A lot of people put on a front. That's what I've realized. Yeah. You know why I don't like that? I've, I've seen it mainly with girls. And I'm sounding like a pick-me right now because I'm kind of bringing down women. Women, I'm not. Um, I've seen people and girls, they'll put on their best side of themselves when getting to know a guy, right? Mm -hmm. Which means that they'll even hide their own maybe personality because they don't want to seem immature or like they won't be them full selves. And for me, the reason why I'm like, that's not a good idea is because he's not liking you for you. If he does eventually want to marry you or be with you, it's the fake person that you've put forward. Yep. So just be yourself. The right person will want you for your weird, true, authentic self. Yep. No, I 100% agree. That's one thing that like, I always made sure, especially with my wife, I was like, the, like the, the day we speak, literally the first day we spoke, I'm not like holding back my weird, funny stuff. Or like, and like, I'll be someone who like, where makes weird noises, do those things. I like to get it out of the way straight away so I know whether you like this type of person or not. Because mm -hmm. it's going to be quite clear straight away. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Sometimes yeah. I say to his wife, like he'll do stuff and I'll, be like, and I'll like look at him and I'll be like, you just done that in front of your wife. And I'll be like, does that not give you the ick? And she's there like, no. <laughs> Yeah, she's always trying to like make my wife turn on me. It's not gonna work, me. <laughs> <laughs> well, but what? Uh, so you say that women do that? Do you not think men do that as well, though? Um, I feel like a lot of men put on the front, no? Uh, I do. Uh, I don't know. But I don't know because. I feel like, I don't know. I'm I feel not like the only time men put on a front is when they don't want to have the intention of marrying you. They just want to sleep with you and then they'll put on a front to act like they're in love with you. Yeah, I'm thinking in my head that I can't really recall memories of a man faking who he is other yeah. than maybe one narcissistic situation yeah. where it's like maybe he knew. But other than that, I feel like men are usually the ones, but they, you, they, this is what it is, right? No, no, Women let me are finish. Easy to, uh, men are easy to manipulate. No, let me, let me finish what I'm going to say. Go on. I feel like... Out. They put more um, pressure on women. Like women have more pressure. That's why they feel like they need to act like oh, this. Somehow this, the, this. the blame comes back to us. No. <laughs> what the hell, bro? It is, no, but like the men, for example, huh? they can be a certain way, and as long as they are like caring for you and they're they're. I don't know how to explain it. Because you're wrong. That's why. Can I say something? Yeah. I think Men don't need to be perfect. They just need to show a bit of care, a bit of dominance, show that they can look after you. Whereas women are looked at as if they have to be... That's already like certain things that we need to do. No, that's bare minimum. Whereas women what? are looked at as if they have to be this perfect little, oh yeah, I'm like this and I'm this and I don't ever get angry. And I don't... Whereas a man can get angry in front of you when you're getting to know him, you'll be like, yeah, that's normal. Do you know what? I kind of, I do agree with that. Huh? Thank you. I feel like it is looked at like that a little bit. For some men, what so you're saying? Like, like I don't think men have to pretend to be something else because I think what they do, what they do do, sorry, is do uh, do. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> a lot of men will manipulate, yeah. but I don't think they change who they are. Exactly. Like they'll lie and say they love you and all this type of stuff, but they yeah. won't act like a different person. Yeah, that's exactly what I was getting at. So their actions are sh bad, right? But they won't pretend to be something they're not a lot of the time. They'll do the bad actions. But do you not feel like a lot of these like roadmen are overcompensating for like being insecure little boys? Oh no, and that's a whole different story. Yeah, I think that yeah, is Yeah, that's a thing. different. But I don't but know if it's little roadmen and stuff like this. You're asking me about you're my trying to opinion. be macho man. But you're saying that they, uh, men have to just be like protective and providers and stuff. Half the things that you see in like even rap music videos and stuff is people flashing money that they don't have. I'm not saying men don't front. I'm just saying, me personally, I've never been in a situation where I've seen that because I don't even entertain that, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Like, these people like that, I don't even entertain. And I feel like women have more pressure to be perfect and be this way and this way and this way. Whereas men, it's like, I am what I am. And as long as I'm doing my other duties, 
you will accept me and a lot of women, women are accepting of a lot of things. If you are completing your duties as a man or you look like you can, we will accept maybe you got an ang like you get angry sometimes or you you have this and this. Whereas men, they're so like, no, she has to be this way and this way and this way and this way. And if she shows this emotional, she can't do this. So there's a lot of pressure on women. I do agree with that because I feel like men are a lot more picky, whereas women tend to settle a lot more, I feel like. And I've seen it. Sometimes I see like women going for certain men. I think to myself, why? Like you could literally find someone that's different, but they just, they'll see two good traits and accept everything, everything else. If that yeah. makes sense. Whereas I feel like men are a lot more like, no, she has to be able to do this. She has to be able to do that. She has to look like this, look like that, look like that. You know and I mean? on top of it, like, she, yeah. When forward. you say that men expect women to be this, this, what, this, this, what is that? Like, what, I what feel like you lot, do you think? I feel like the, what men would want, a lot of men, or if I'm looking overall, I'm not saying all of them, of course, otherwise I would have no chance in life. But I feel like a lot of them, majority of them, where they want like a little cute girl that's just going to kind of agree to everything and let you fully take the lead and not really have a lot of opinions. And she doesn't really like have a huge personality and she's very like just conforming to everything you say and do. I feel like that's what men want. I feel like... In general, like she's not going to speak like back to his mom if she ever gets rude she's not gonna set boundaries like i'm generalizing i'm not saying all men but i feel like overall come on i think i'm you're right men do have these expectations but i also think they put a lot to the side when they meet someone they actually love yeah i agree yeah. i do agree i'm not gonna lie but initially yeah it's like when you when they're looking for someone or they're thinking of a match yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and i'm not gonna lie they to have you this idea in their head yeah i'm not even just men even me before a was getting married I'm not gonna lie, and this is maybe even bad to say, but before you were getting married, the sort of women I imagined you with was what I just described. Yeah, people yeah. say that about me as well. I can't lie. Yeah, and I'm like you're wrong. <laughs> well, so you, you, you like them that. crazy. Um, so here's the thing. I look at. I always use mom as an example because mm -hmm. I feel like mom and dad have a healthy relationship. My mom was, um, you know, she was on TV and stuff. That's yeah. also frowned upon. Mm. My mom couldn't cook. My dad taught her how to cook and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Oh, do you want to air she... out her dirty laundry? <laughs> nah, but she's no, she's. Could she mom. do laundry? <laughs> <laughs> she did the laundry, but I'm saying, yeah, I feel like uh, men are willing to compromise when. Uh, I agree. And she, oh, I thought you were saying like you look at your mom as an example, isn't it? You want someone that's exactly like her. But yeah. not all. But realistically, the idea of that woman doesn't mm. really exist if you think about it. Maybe here and there it does, but overall. People are, there's not just one type of woman. We all have our different personalities. We all, a lot of us are quirky. It's like, what's unique about us? That's yeah. why I feel like when girls are getting to know guys, they put on maybe that side. I've seen it before, I'm not gonna lie. But I find it so much more worse when girls put on that act and then you find out stuff about them later on. I've seen, That's look, happened to you before, isn't it? Bare times. Yeah, I feel like I remember you telling me once about like <clears throat> you doing things a little more like, Islamically, I don't know if I want to. Can I give business. you a lot of story? Yeah. Sorry, just an example. Yeah. Bearing in mind, I've seen this. Sorry to interrupt you. It's all right, you do I've it seen a lot. this. Sorry, it's should okay. I stop talking? No, it's okay, go. I'm going to let you lot have your time. I've seen it so much so that I could give you a million examples, but the first one that popped to my head and ask um, my ex when you next see him because he'll tell you about it and he'll literally laugh. We, When I was married, um, one of my friends was like on a kind of date with someone, not a date, like they'd, I think they'd finished their date and then we bumped into them, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then we were speaking about, um, this is maybe two years ago. So before- I think the you told me the story. Maybe. Yeah. Before the conflict that's happening now, like the current one in Palestine. Mm -hmm. And she was basically saying like, she she had like a Audi Coke or something. And I think maybe, yeah, she was like, yeah, I don't drink um, Coke. I don't drink Coke. And the guy was like, oh, really, why? And she was like, oh, because they fund Israel. Like, I don't, I just don't do it. And like me, and this is kind of, maybe this is bad on my behalf, but it just kind of came out. I was like, <laughs> oh, no. I feel bad. I was like, no. I was like, you're buying the Audi Coke because it's cheaper. Not because it's, not because they don't That's support. So rude. Is it rude? That is so rude. <laughs> no, but why are you pretending like, Oh, you were calling her out on her lying. Yeah, but it just came out. Like, oh. as in she, my thing was, why are you pretending like you're buying the co the the knockoff version of the Coke because they don't because they support Israel rather than just saying it? No, it's because it's cheaper. Yeah, yeah. And it just came out. So you knew it was hundred percent because it was cheaper. Yes, sir. <laughs> she buys it. Sometimes she would buy the other Coke. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, I feel bad that, that I done deep. that. No, I do feel bad. I'm not gonna lie. And but it just came out, and it, but it just kept annoying me because like the whole time I was just seeing like. Just speak thing. to Fingy when you when you next speak to him and he'll yeah. explain it way better than I could now. 
That but is yeah. funny. I think it is funny actually because sometimes I've had friends as well when all of a sudden when there's a girl around, they just automatically become like a new person. All of a sudden they're yeah, a comedian yeah, 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 or yeah, yeah. It's just, the energy's different. And I'm just you looking like, is everything all right? the most annoying right? thing, Halo? Imagine me and um, my friend Josh, mm -hmm. I make videos with, obviously we always just banter around, innit? And um, we was out one time uh, eating together and uh, we're busting jokes and we have our uni friends with us. Uh, she's a girl and she's not laughing at anything that we do because she finds us cringe or whatever. Mm -hmm. And some tall, like, mixed race guys were serving us. Mm -hmm. And he said the deadest joke. <laughs> and she was dying hysterically. <laughs> and me and him are just staring at like, We do this as a profession. Yeah, like, like I'm oh, funny. Yeah, you've never laughed this hard at our joke. <laughs> oh, and she's so just funny. there laughing. And we were like, yeah, this is, this is horrible. And, and I see that online as well. I see good looking guys saying the deadest jokes. And the comment section is just filled with these, like, Facebook moms just dying from laughter. Yeah, it's always the Facebook moms. Yeah, it's the moms, Facebook moms. <laughs> That's so uh, funny. I'm going to be a Facebook dad soon. I'm on my way there. You're basically there now, bro. I How do old you like? 31. People... Have you said your age on social media? <laughs> yeah. Last yeah. Oh, yeah. I do think that people... Um, that's mad that you're 31, you know? I'm not 31. I'm 30. <laughs> Every year counts now. Come on. Put some respect when on. are you 31? In August. See, I feel like 30-year-olds can't text, but you can text. 30-year-olds? Still... Come on, bro. What the hell? <laughs> I'm still horrible with, uh, with social media. I can't lie. I have a question. I don't yeah. think you are. When do you want to have kids? ASAP. Like, like you would have, if you had... Next month. Say you got married, like, literally... I want kids more month. than I want a wife. Aw, that's, that's so cute. Deep. That, <laughs> oh my God. It shows his love for, like, children. Yeah. Sorry, you said this cute. I'm telling you that's deep because now when you get married, she's going to be like, oh, like, does he want... Did oh, he, now he you've, using just, me? you've just used her as a vessel. Are you using me for my womb? Like... <laughs> But we can share our bond over this loving this child. Yeah, like. but you're saying you want kids more than a wife. Is, he's he's, he's kind of cute. He's one mind. of those guys that like the marriage is fading and like, let's have another kid. It will save us and then it <laughs> makes it worse. <laughs> you know what's funny? Yeah, My parents as well. I was an accident, by the way. So was I. Uh, so my parents got I married. Wasn't. <laughs> and uh, I think they were, the plan was like, let's travel together and you know enjoy life together. Within the first month, she got pregnant. Were and my you, mom was are on you the, the old, eldest? Yeah. Your mum was on the pill? She was on the pill, it didn't work. And I don't only found out like four years ago, my sister told me. Oh. Oh, that's sad. I yeah, she was laughing and taking a piss out of me. And that's, <laughs> how, that's how I found out. I feel like it's not that deep to say someone was an accident. Like, okay, I didn't plan or try for you. Why do people think, find it an insult? I think it's cuter that, that you were an accident, but they still had you, raised you and loved you. Yeah, I think it's cute. Like, what are they going to do? <laughs> Dash you me away. Like. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I mean. It is kind of cute because like, oh, we didn't even want you, but we still kept you. Like, yeah, that is cute. Could have not done that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? No one would have known. <laughs> so what's your questions that you want to ask men and get our opinions on? So we did do this in our first episode together. Mm -hmm. And I think it was very interesting. These This time I just got some questions that I found that I think would be interesting. Just let's run through them. Let's not like stick to it too much like we did last time. What happens is we get one question and we use the whole podcast is like yeah, on that, that whole one question, episode. like debating it. Okay, so. He looks nervous. <laughs> here are some questions for men. Okay, first question is. All right. How do you know when a guy's not interested in you and are there any signs to look out for? Can I just say, yeah, sorry, Ray, I'm going to take this from you. If, if a guy's interested in you, you're going to know. That's the difference. I if agree. you're sitting there wondering, I just don't, then he's not interested in you. But then again, some guys are very nonchalant. Like they just don't. <laughs> That's you. <laughs> That's me. Oh, damn. I've like before. Spectrum. They probably had no idea that I let them. Yeah. yeah. You pussy. I know. Wow. Just say it on your chest. It's so much more harder when you actually like the person, but when you're pretending it's so, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> when you're pretending yeah, yeah. that's how you know he's the number one Ray, manipulator you piece um, of absolute I dog think poo. you will know because yeah t I think <laughs> when we like someone we'll text them back instantly when you realise that okay this guy's like we will put things aside to make time for the people that we like that's what I'm saying I you agree it. I yeah. think people do make time for you like I tried to explain to a friend before because mm -hmm. yeah she's not really had a good, great experience with men but I tried to explain to her like you guys have been speaking for what, six months. You really like him, but you're telling me you don't do phone calls at all. Yeah, oh my God. That's all mad. And she's like, yeah, but he works and this and that. I'm like, yeah, works to provide for his family on the side, his, <laughs> his wife and kids. There's no reason you shouldn't be speaking. Oh, like, yeah. it's, 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 I've, I've been in that situation before where I'm speaking to someone I don't fully like, I'm not fully interested. So you'll see me making a lot of excuses. Whereas like I've, when I'm talking to someone I like, I will drive like two hours to go and see them. I agree. You know and maybe that there is some people where you'll reply to them when you're bored, like need a bit of validation, but it's not like a... You lot are messed up, bro. 
I don't know, I've been at the game for a year. What can I say? Happily uh, married, love you, baby. Your, I know you're watching this. Question? Yeah, so I really know the answer to that because I do oh. agree that when a guy's, you just know. But then again, some guys are nonchalant. Like also, the uh, guys, especially speaking to a Muslim man, he will bring up the topic of marriage straight away. We don't beat around the bush if we like you. Yeah, it's true. If but I also feel serious like about you. We will. Yeah. I feel like some men now use that as the manipulating factor. Shit, they're onto us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ray, I can see you being a manipulator. I'm not no. gonna lie. No, Ray, listen. <laughs> 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 you manipulate girls into thinking they're no, gonna marry I'm, I'm, you. I'm not good. I'm Babe, good just do it. It's alright. We're getting married anyway. Oh, just do it. Do what? You well, you know what I'm talking about. Ray, be honest. Have you ever told a girl? Just <gasps> honestly, have you Wallah ever told a girl you're gonna marry her? Life, I can say this on camera. If anyone will comment against it, then they will comment against it. But I've never led someone on. If I've yeah, I always be straight up with my intentions, whatever it is. Okay, that's good. And even yeah, if it's, if I yeah, because I wouldn't rate that. Yeah, come on, you know me. Will I do that? I don't think you would, but I'm just like, I don't know, these comments are a bit. This is why he's not, um, that's why he's not being honest with you. And because you said you wouldn't rate it, he oh, knows you'll judge him. I had to give him a safe space, bro. You Tell have to give him a safe space. It's all right, man. I'm, that's me. I was just saying stuff earlier for the sake of comedic purpose. <laughs> that was it. Okay, next question. Okay. So when you guys have time together, do you talk about girls the way that girls talk about guys? No, no, we don't. As that, I feel like girls talk so much shit about men compared to men. Men will just will go about a day, talk about the footy. No, or no, play no, games. forget that. I'm talking about, let's say a girl just went on a date with a guy or she's speaking to a guy yeah. and she'll come back and be like, oh, this, like, I'm talking about good things. No, no. we don't come back and uh, spill the beans on. So basically, I then picked her up outside the house. Oh, she got really? in the car. I was like, oh my God. Do you know what I mean? I like, you know how they sit and give the whole detail to someone yeah, about yeah, the date? Yeah, that's too much. I feel like if, if a guy, though, uh, generally likes a girl, I feel like even even though we do have a bigger threshold of holding emotions in, sometimes that can be a lot. And I've I've met guys before. They like my cousin. Offload. Yeah, he got married. Uh, alhamdulillah, recently, innit? And I remember the first time he met his wife. He wouldn't stop going on about her. Aww. Yeah, he was just talking about her nonstop. He's like, I'm so excited. I'm gonna see you again to, uh, That's tomorrow. That's so yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. That only but, lasted three days, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean more just like yeah. I guess you guys kind of like a oh yeah so this girl done I, I mean I've seen it I before like I know it happens details. but if, yeah true okay yeah. that was a bit of a not so interesting one okay so why do most guys fail guys <laughs> why do most guys fail to express their feelings when they're sad Ray fail. <laughs> <laughs> that's fully me fail to guys express. by the way the reason I've said that is because I said to Ray on our little break, I said, Ray, you don't seem like yourself. And yeah. then he was like, no, he's gaslighting me. No, I'm completely fine. What do you mean? No. I genuinely believe there's, a, there's something going on. Like, you, there, you're you not happy, bro. Guys, you lot tell us in the yeah, comments. Yeah, if you've seen the last episode, am I acting different? They think I'm sad. I'm not sad. You are. I'm not sad. You're sad to be here. Are you sure? <laughs> you don't want to be here. Just tell us the truth. It's making me sad that you won't be honest, I'm, you prick. One lot, I'm not sad. I'm happy. I'm fine. No one appreciates my jokes. Em is okay, laughing. No say? one else does. <laughs> anyway. Not just that. It's so funny that we're here trying to force like depression on you. Just be tell sad. us it's you're like case. us. Be sad. Be one of us. <laughs> Accept it. It's sadly relatable what for a reason. Question? Okay, why do guys not like showing their emotions? Um, Can I say? Go on. <laughs> like, please. Um, I feel like yeah, that sometimes... And I feel like we've all maybe been in this position at some point in our life where you've expressed an emotion and then the girl has weaponized it against you somehow or brought it up. And it, them type of things can just really like cut at your soul and make you even more like, do you know what, let me keep this type so of stuff So is that with one girl or it would have happened once with a girl and you carry it on into all relationships? Um, it, yeah, it could have happened once and then you... You carry it on like... I, I hear that, I'm not going to lie. I hear that. I, I do respect that one, I'm not going to lie. You're but the ones where like... You're like arguing, and then you'd be like, Oh, I don't even care. And she'd be like, Yeah, that's why you were crying the other day when someone like, oh, like, no, like they'll but that's get you. Mean. Yeah, they use it against oh, you. It's never happened to me, but yeah. That is mean. I'm not going to lie. I think, um, yeah, I'm not the sort of person that in an argument, I won't take, because you know me, right? Do I think I? you know me very well in mm -hmm. a sense where I feel like I genuinely could really, really hurt someone with my words. Oh, no, 100%. Like I could make someone really sad, mad, like genuinely want to jump off a cliff. Whoa. So I have to stop when I'm arguing I ha or like if I'm in an argument, I genuinely have a line where I'm like, do, do not cross this line and I don't cross it. Nishrin is the only person, yeah, like I said before, it, I, 
it takes me really hard to get to a point of actual like anger, like in range, like I'll lose my mind type thing. It's only happened like twice in my life where I've like lost it. But every time I've ever argued with Nistrin in our childhood, she was the only person that can literally get me there. That's my sister as well. Where I'm like, yeah. I just want to like, <laughs> not her. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like you're but so yeah, angry. Even like, me, like I'll, I'll have to like punch the wall or something because I need to lay it out. Ooh, punching walls. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I saw a meme about that recently. <laughs> Why do men punch walls? Do you want us to punch you instead? Yeah. Pa- punch us. <laughs> like, what? The better option, because <laughs> then they would complain about that. Yeah, but then you you can't win. The what the hell? Like, Why don't you punch yourself? <laughs> That's so hard. <laughs> Have you seen that video on TikTok where he's like, she's breaking up with him at the door, and he's like, "Come on, Sophie," and he starts punching himself in the yeah, face. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's like, "What's what that?" Thing? I think there's a saying in Algeria, Morocco, where. <laughs> Oh my god, they do do that. Do yeah. you? But they're like, oh really? And they're like, hit, like when they're upset. Yeah, the yeah. Place, bro. <laughs> no, that's um. You think that's better? Is that what you want us to do? I'm gonna make a joke, but I don't want to. Yeah, say no, it. no, I know don't, what you're don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Control that mouth. <laughs> um. Okay. So, yeah. Why don't? Where were we? Um. Why men don't express ourselves? Uh. With me, I think I'd just like to sit down and face my thoughts and get over it. You know what I don't like about men? <laughs> I mean, there's go. a long list. But starting off with this, kind of going off what you said, Ayub, I don't like that one thing will happen to them bad or a little bad experience with one girl and they'll be like in year seven and they will carry that shit until they're like 70 years old. Like they're like, no one woman thing will I've ever. One to learn is women also have that experience that they don't let go of. No, but what I mean is this. They'll get hurt once and then they're like, never again will I ever show emotion to end. I'm going to treat every other woman like she's going to get payback for what that girl in year seven done to me. Do you know what? The reason I find that funny is because it's so true. Like I understand having a bad experience and then carrying it on. But a lot of the times I do hear these stories and it happened when they were like, Four and there was no actual four, real emotion. Four, all right. This is and you know that's an exaggeration. Like year seven, like school times where that stuff was not even real. Like it wasn't even like real emotion. But the girl like upset you, and now you're like this to everyone for the rest of your life. Or it like your first funny. relationship. Well, I've heard this from girls as well, bro. Give but us like, an example. Both genders. Um, on two occasions, I think a girl told me like, yeah, school experience where like they wanted to get married and the parents said no. School. This is like when they were like 16, 17 or something. Oh. And then, um, yeah, another girl also said, again, like uh, this guy, he dumped me when I was in year 11. But the fact that you're mentioning it as adults means that you haven't gone over it. Who yeah. the hell that is, is still bring bro, talk about holding grudges. Who's m- thinking about- She's talking about holding grudges. She hates men. <laughs> That's so true. Yeah. If I like sat here and got upset about all the relationships I had in school, then I'd be oh, crying about yeah, 101 relationships. Yeah, I was thinking, what is yeah, going on here? I'm hell, joking, you know what I mean? Like when you were world. younger and you'd be like, can I be your girlfriend? Can, I be, can you be my girlfriend? Yeah, actually, can you that's, that's when you grew up in Cambridge. So going back to the point of um, men not being expressive, you know what my issue is? I think women are too expressive. I think you guys need to chill out a little bit. <laughs> you made a TikTok How are you about saying don't communicate enough? So I, I made this joke. I was like, I equivalent how women um, release the trauma on you the same way men want to sleep with you. You guys won't even want to get to know us properly. You don't want to take us out, but you want to just like stick your sentences inside us. And, oh yeah, yeah. And, I saw yeah. this. That was hilarious. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. Okay, the way you put it like that, yeah. very funny. But if we're being completely serious, you right. don't really believe that, right? I think if I've just met you, I do not want to hear about your last relationship that you just got out of. Like, I don't, yeah, but not... that's a red flag in general. If yeah. you're meeting a girl yeah. and in the first three if days. If I'm in a relationship with you, and you've had a hard day at work and you want to offload, yeah, I'm here to listen. So when would you expect a girl to open up about her previous When you traumas? put a ring on this finger, that's when you can <laughs> stick your words inside me. <laughs> 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 I'm a man with self-respect, thank you very much. <laughs> no, Ray. When would you think it's an appropriate time to express that to you? When things are getting serious. And we're, when you've had that conversation, like, oh, I really like you, I really like you too. And then there's like, hey, there's certain things you need to get to know about me because this is my triggers and stuff. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. No, but what? She doesn't have triggers. She just had a no, shit. No, but you need to understand, you don't want to speak to a woman and then all of a sudden she's telling you this story, but you can see the passion in her that it still affects her so much that it's almost like she still she's loves him and not over it. Yeah. Hey, he did it. I just can't believe it. Now he goes, I see him over there and he's doing this. And I, I just don't understand why. And I, can you even believe he would do this? And you're like, yeah. what's your favorite right. color? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I ask. Yeah. Don't know how we got so here. ambitions and goals in life. Like, what's your favorite color? Green. But he used to wear green. I so remember waking up to the- <laughs> yeah. that's how it is somehow it just leads into that yeah. bro no matter what you're trying to talk about I have realised that the times where I was most angry and like 
like, oh my God, yeah, da da da, and would, was willing to speak about a situation was when I was not over you. But like, the point is now, I don't care, so I won't really speak about it like that. I do agree with Ray, can't I? I think like, there's a, there's a time and place, and what you said was perfect about, once you're sitting and talking seriously, and you're like, okay, these are the type of things, this is what I've been through in the past, mm-hmm. and I don't want to experience this again, or this is what's like, maybe giving me a bit of trauma in certain situations, yeah. then yeah, bring that stuff up, but you don't always just want to straight away hear about yeah. another man. Also, when, when I start, when I like a person, I want to hear about these, like I want you to tell me everything, but before that, it feels like a chore when I haven't gotten to know but you. But not what you... girls are really going out here just airing out their laundry to surprised. every man. You'd be surprised. What about like, can we talk about the marriage CVs and all that stuff? The mar- oh, yeah, yeah, we can talk about that. Can you tell us a story about that? All right, so mom says we're going to get you married. And I was like, oh, I don't really, you know, let me look for myself. That My mom's like, oh, look, I'm sick. You know what I mean? I want to see you get married in this world before I go. Aww. I was like, all right, fine. You can look for me. And then they said that, all right, we're going to basically put your profile on these whatsapp groups or facebook groups or whatever and we're going to find people and we're going to show you their profiles and if you like them if you're interested let us know and we'll get the number for you so you can speak to them and so are uh, these profiles like actual like look like cvs like you have a picture and then like what and they do and, and it's so funny because every profile looks like it's just artificially made by the parents yeah <laughs> they, 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 yeah, a lot of them are i remember seeing like, my friends uh, i like reading books i like to go to the museums <laughs> and i like to walk in the park yeah and you go to the park you don't see that many muslims there do you know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? yeah that's where so are you true. <laughs> <laughs> If, if that was the case, everyone would be in park looking for marriage. It's yeah. so <laughs> true. Because I've seen my friends, some of my Asian friends, they've shown me CVs and yeah. stuff. And it's literally like, I like long walks in the park. I like yeah, this. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, it's very... Long walks in the park is the, is the very yeah, average. That who sounds who creepy goes to me. on long walks in the park? <laughs> looking Probably. for a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think uh, I would... Just to make them happy, I'd be like, ah, oh, you know what? Go on there, get, get her number. I'll speak to Wow. Person. That sounds so bad. <laughs> All right, go on then. <laughs> but go yeah, I'll get the number and I'll speak on the phone. And it's literally what I was complaining about earlier. It's just them offloading about their life on me. I swear to you, I'd be on the phone for an hour and a half. And 15 minutes in the conversation, I already know that I'm not speaking to you again. Right, so it gets to a point where you need to take accountability. Why are you letting it drag that long? <laughs> yeah. I feel rude. If I say yeah, it. that's what I'm saying about him. Like he, won't, like he won't be like, oh. Quick tip. He would just sit and actually take and listen to the whole thing. Quick myself, tip, yeah. quick tip. Oh my God, wait, wait, one second, one second, one second. I'm getting a call. Hold on. As I feel like women are so much more open to disrespecting men like that. <laughs> men can't do that to you. Sorry. Um, I don't really do it, but I'm just saying like you could do that or you could say... I feel like women find it easier to reject men than men find it to reject women. We we are more, a bit more like... We feel take into consideration, yeah. yeah. No, it's because you lot are tramps and you're thinking, hmm, should I really let this go to waste? <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> You know when like, this is like a backup option. No, 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 let me explain something to you. You know my nan, she's a Moroccan nan, yeah? yeah? Anything free, she'll take it. If you offer her a drum set and it's free, yeah. she's taking it. Yeah, so true. Anything that is free and she... Rafiq's I'm, like that as well, I can't lie. Maybe it's Rafiq, a cultural it, thing. Yeah. If you offer something to Rafiq, you always take it. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be free it. shot glasses <laughs> and a bottle of vodka. <laughs> I'm never going to use it, but I'll take it. <laughs> exactly. That's how I feel like men are with women. Um, yes. That's... That's not the reason why I was continuing the conversation. But yeah, Karen. But yeah, so anyways, uh, it's been like th- a, a week or two and my mom realizes that I just speak to these people and it goes nowhere. She, one day she brings a profile to me. And she's like, what do you think of this girl? And I'm like, yeah, like I usually do, like get her number. And the uh, next day my mom comes to me. She goes, oh, well, we spoke to her parents. They're coming over next week. Oh my us. And gosh. I was like, hold on a second. I didn't, I didn't agree to this. Oh, man. And then my mom's like, oh, but you know, because... Um, I feel like you're not getting a good idea of people just speaking on the phone. So it's better if you just meet them in person. I'm like, cool, whatever you say, mom and dad. (laughs) And um, they come over now. And I don't know what they've told this girl, but I feel like she approached the situation like we were definitely getting married. (gasps) That's that's so sad. sad. Uh, There was a moment where like, you know, our parents like, you guys go chill in the sitting room and you know, get to know each other and stuff. And then we sat down and my cat walks in. And she was like, oh my God, I'm scared of cats. Imagine I told my mom that I would never get married to someone with a cat, but here I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sad. It is sad. And I feel bad, right? Oh, so I'm sad. like, okay, cool. They're just going to leave after this. And then we want to have so to continue sad. I feel this bad again. for her. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, she was a nice person. Nothing wrong with her. Yeah, it's just course. sometimes like you just, you're just not feeling it. That's yeah. what, literally yeah. what it was. And oh, um, yeah, as, as, as they're leaving, you know, I'm feeling relieved, like, okay, this is going to be what I'm going over with. My um, dad turns around to me and her, so I said, did you exchange numbers? And I'm like, I can't reject her in front of everyone, you know what I'm saying? That's so rude. 
So I'm like, no, we didn't. <laughs> let's, let's do that. I'm going to forget. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, so shit. now we're exchanging numbers. And um, I'm thinking, hopefully, like, sh- we won't text each other. Nothing will happen. And two days go by. And then she texts me. And she's like, hey. You know what's sad about that? She was probably there with her friends. Like, he hasn't texted me. What should I do? And they're like, baby, he's probably waiting for you to make the first move. You've got to show you're assertive. Like, See, that's, and that's where you, the question came up before. Where, like, how do you know if a man's interested? That was, you had all the signs there that I was not interested. Oh, yeah. Saying? Poor girl. She, obviously, she texted me and she was like, hey, your family's really lovely. Uh, thanks for the hospitality and stuff. And, you know, I was con- texted her back. But obviously, I was given dead replies. Mm. See what the issue is with men. Just communicate it, bro. He's leading her on instead of saying, no offense, mate. Instead of being like, hey, it was so lovely meeting you. And, you know, I'm sure you'll be amazing for another man. Just not me. No, just be like. <laughs> but that like, again, that's do. that's how women are can reject men easily. And no, men but just be like. But I've just realised that. But that is so much harder to do than you yeah, think it is. Yeah, you know how, like, to tell someone that you're interested, it's like such an insult. I it don't like her. making someone feel less. Yeah. Okay, so you'd rather lead her on, confuse her, play mind games, have her thinking, does he like me? Does he not no, like mind me? games is him acting like inviting he likes her. her to his house. No, no, no. <laughs> mind games is hot and cold. Yeah, when you yeah. Act like you're interested, and you act like you don't. Yeah, yeah. Literally, literally you're I mean, not doing any of that. You're yeah. instantly just not interested. This is why men are cowards. Because oh my god, if it's not one thing, it's the other. <laughs> what do you want? You lot are saying basically give her dead replies till she gets the hint. You're saying I'll be so shit that she cuts it off with me. She loses interest. Cowards, <laughs> cowards. That's what it is. Okay, you- <laughs> so you want me to hurt her feelings. That's what you want. No, look, sometimes honest communication is going to hurt her feelings in the short term, but the in the long do. term. I go to, um, I think I left it a while for, like, left it dead for a few days. And next thing you know, I think she spoke to her parents to speak to my parents for us to meet up. And my parents come up like, hey, like, why don't you guys meet up, you know, hang out and see where it goes. Maybe... And I, I thought to myself, you know what? Maybe she might grow on me. So <laughs> I hear it. You're, you're, you're having a bit you're of You're giving it a chance. I'm giving it a chance. Yeah, that's cute. So yeah, uh, we meet up. It's obviously, lockdown rules are still somewhat... He didn't old. want her. And he's saying, so yeah, we meet up a second time. Ray, how far are you willing to take this? Now I he's married with three kids. <laughs> he's got three kids now. My friends were actually saying that to me. They were laughing. They were like, marriage. you're going to like fall into a relationship that you want just out of, because you don't want to... Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah, you're so scared to like hurt them that you end yeah, up like <laughs> just 10 years, years in. Story. You're like... <laughs> And then, um, yeah, so I think we met up. This is lockdown rules are still playing around these times. So we just go for a walk in the park, get milkshakes and whatnot, and getting to know each other. So Muslims do go for walks in parks. Funnily enough, we do. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. She didn't walk. lie on her CV. She <laughs> likes walks in the park. Um, but yeah, I think the whole time in my head, I started to realise this is definitely not it. And I think... In her head, she probably just thought, oh, it's just a normal day out. She was probably thinking, oh, I'm planning my baby names. Are we going to have such cute kids? Oh, I hate men so much. And then I dropped her home. As soon as I got home, I said, mom, you put me in this situation. I need you to get me out of it. Talk to her parents right now and tell her that I'm not interested. And then I think she... Coward. You got your mum to do it for... Sorry, 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 sorry. Stop insulting him, man. Sorry, Ray. He's sorry. He's up to us being vulnerable. By the way, Ray, you know I'm kind of like slightly joking. Like, I know, no. I'm like no. 20% joking. It's 20%. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then uh, my mum spoke to her mum and said, listen, I don't think he's uh, ready. And then my sister comes to me like the next day saying she sent me a long paragraph last night. And it was her just saying that, oh, I feel like he isn't mature for marriage. You shouldn't be looking right now. Oh, and stuff. so she's a bit sour. Yeah, just letting off. Because I feel like she genuinely was interested. You know when you can see like, oh, you're yeah. just giddy and just playing with her hair and stuff when they're with you? But question, why did her and her family come to you? Like, isn't it the men, men and their family that I'm going to go there? It, it was, uh, I don't think they took it as like, this is what it is. I think it was just, my parents just invited them to our house. Yeah. Oh, okay. Makes yeah. sense. Um, do you have the paragraph? <laughs> that is what? so rude. She's like, I feel oh, so with her. But let's air out our whole business. Give us the paragraph. So the TikTok video is still on my page and there's a screenshot of the paragraph. Oh <gasps> my God, don't and, lie. And her friend contacted me a few months after that. She was like, hey, I kind of, you, you should take that video down. So she started costing me and I was like, I didn't mention her name. And also in the video, I specified that she was a very nice person. There was nothing wrong with her. I, I felt like I was also in the situation. Yeah. I, I, I was honest about that, so... I don't know about my opinion about that. Because so just imagine, just honest, imagine honest you opinion. giving your whole... I do hear what you're saying. It's like, your name's not mentioned, this and that. But imagine pouring your heart out in a paragraph and then finding this joke, man. It's stitching it. Guys, she was gre- me. No, green screening it. Guys, and then she said... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> that would hurt my feelings. Yeah, I feel like that is a bit but, disrespectful. A little I don't bit, know. I, I don't know about... But this was two years after it happened. Come on. 
Yeah, but, she should be over it by now. Like, I don't know. No, I feel you're like, her story now that she can't let go. I feel like I'd be hurt, <laughs> but it's not the worst thing. Like, your name wasn't mentioned, but I would. I, I understand why she'd be hurt. No, but you know what's sad is like people like her friends knowing. Oh yeah. But now Women people know. tell their friends everything anyway, bro. And mm. I never mentioned her name, so the friends that she didn't tell, she would, they oh, yeah, wouldn't they know that wouldn't, I'm speaking yeah, about yeah, her. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Or maybe she lied to them and said, nah, I stopped speaking to him. He's a weirdo. <laughs> and you then, know what I've realised? Men, both men and women do that a lot. Yeah. They, when, when the situation ends, they'll try to feed the ego and be like, oh, I came out on top. Yeah, it was me that ended it. Yeah. Or this and that. Yeah, I think it's weird. Like, just be honest or just don't speak about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. Um, so that, is that how it ended? I wanna, that was it. Is the TikTok still up? Yeah. Oh, so you have no respect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we are now going to go into my segment, which I'm excited for. Um, this segment is called Guess the Crime. Oh. So today we are going to be on a, what is it called? Pen Pal website for criminals in the USA. So these are people who are, who are serving multiple years in jail and they have got like a bio, a profile. It's almost like, it's not a dating website. It's like a, it's like a mixture of like a friend and maybe more. I'm going to do friend. that, you know, like I want a pen pal. What, from prison? Yeah. That's mad. What does that mean? It's like someone that you send letters to. In prison, jail. Pen pal, like pen, oh, okay. you write it and send it out. Why don't you just say you're sending letters to someone in prison? I think you can have phone calls with them as well. Yeah, you might Because they're random um, people like in America. Oh, and stuff. Random, random criminals. People. Okay, yeah. and they, they give you life advice. <laughs> have you not people. seen where people fall in love with prisoners like in America, then they fly out there Bro, and in London, them. people fall in love with criminals all the time. <laughs> yeah, really I know. But this one is like an American thing. So it's like, it's basically an online dating website for prisoners. Dating? It's not dating, but I'm giving them an example of what like it is. Like matchmaking, friendship-wise. Yeah. Like, as well as love. Yeah, okay. yeah. And they give a little bio of who they are, little like a little bio, like any social media platform. But then it also says what crime they committed. So they have to say what crime they committed? And some of them skip it out. But I'm going to read to you some of their bios. And I have to guess what the crime is. And you don't have to guess what the crime so is. So exciting. But are the crimes like... Generic or are they really specific? They're not really specific. Okay, good. Could this like robbed a nanny and then put her in a boot and (laughs) then also like went to her granddaughter? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, don't worry. Okay, so I'm going to show you lot this picture first. Okay, so don't read anything, just look at the picture for a second. It's the first guy. We won't say any names either. He looks like his name's Leroy. No, no, I don't trust you putting up. You'll try to look at the thing anyway so his bio says i'm just a small town boy looking for a good co- conversation and connection with the outside world i'm a father of four with one in heaven i'm a big i'm big into fitness and nutrition i'm working towards a happier and healthier me and i'm open to making new friends would love to find someone uplifting and down to earth people to pen power with and connect thank you god bless how long has he been in jail for so he went into prison in 2022 and his release date is 2025. Oh, oh that's not that so this bad. Is quite, quite new. So he is a male, obviously, Cauc- Caucasian white. He is 5'10, brown eyes, brown hair, and is 29 years old. Oh. Oh, so he's been in jail for like, what, four years? No, three years. He's only got four years. He went in 2022 and he's coming out 2025. Uh, three yeah. years. Sick months. <laughs> <laughs> three years. Three years, yeah. How long has he been in there already? Well, he's been in there two years. Okay, he, so robbed a, he robbed a um, uh, petrol station, gas station. Okay, so you're saying robbery. Yeah, uh, but... And what are you saying? Uh, I'm saying attempted murder. No. Oof. Three, three years, bro. Yeah, but you didn't kill anyone. Attempted. <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, attempted murder, mm. you... Mm. Maybe okay, right. Lock it it's, in. it's just compensating too much. By he's, the way, a point, it's, it's a point system. Nice. If it's a point system, it's me versus you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. take the serious. Yeah, that's <laughs> what man's just there, like yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> All right. Um, no. So I think. Can I see his face again? Yeah. Okay. I think GBH. He beat someone up. Okay, there's more pictures of him here. <gasps> there's more photos. Oh damn, he looks completely. Okay, that's different. cheating. Okay, show Ray. And he's 28, Ayub. Okay, yeah. he beat someone up. He banged someone. Okay, so assault. Wait, wait, wait. I need to uh, yes. No, no, no. I didn't say what it was. I assault. said, is your... Is, oh, yeah. Are you locking yeah. in assault? <laughs> <laughs> I need to start again because I just realised for, for robbery, you wouldn't get three years. No, bro. That's... No. 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 We can give in our no, answer. No. Excuse no, me. you can do your final answer now, but just pick okay. wisely. What do you mean, no, no? Okay, next time, you're not allowed to do that. Okay, yeah. This is your one chance. Do you think I should re-pick an answer, Aeob? 
What is this emotional manipulation? Don't look at her when you answer that. Fine, look I back. won't pick another answer. We'll go again. Uh, okay, we'll lock, you're locking in robbery? Yeah. And you're locking in uh, assault. assault? I think he done... Wait, wait, stop, and stop, the stop. answer is, it's stop. too late. The answer no, is... No, I'm going to tell you what he done. I think he done a robbery to feed his kids. Oh, let's see. Murder. I'm She's joking. Right. She's <laughs> making excuses no, for people. He, he, trying it, to justify his, his actions. His crime was robbery. <gasps> hey. I was actually shocked that you got that. What did he rob? Um, it doesn't my, say. My heart. <laughs> I'll be pen palling you soon, you Roy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> my he definitely God. robbed a gas station or something. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, I'm going to get you, Ray. Watch. <laughs> okay, next guy. This guy, yeah. So loser you are. I can see it. This guy. End anyway, so. This guy looks ridiculous. Anyway, um, let's go to the next one. So exciting. I love winning. I love being right. It gives me some dopamine. <laughs> so this guy's... Uh, let me show you his picture, actually. Right there. Okay. Can you see oh, that? Oh, he's old. Okay. Okay, so this says, you're dealing with the ultimate gen gentleman, bad boy. No matter what happens, at the end of the day, I'll make you smile, laugh, and wonder, how come I've never met a guy like this before? That's it. That's all he's got on his. Ultimate gentleman, bad boy. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. So. Is he from ENDS? <laughs> he'll put you in a headlock, but he'll buy you flowers afterwards, basically. Yeah. That's what you're telling me. That type of vibe. He'll open the door for you, spank your butt on the way out. <laughs> exactly. Um, how long has he been in jail for? So, he has been in jail since 2022, and he's coming out in 2026. He is 6'3", he's bald, blue eyes, and he is 57 years old. 57. Let me see. Is there any other photos? Yeah, there's more photos. What are you doing going to jail at that age? <laughs> Don't look too much. I'm not. Just look at his photos. Okay, right. Can I see? Because I ain't... Don't scroll up. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he shot up a school. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what, at that age? It's normally younger. Youngers. I think... Um... He shot up a pension home. <laughs> An old man's home. <laughs> a kid <care> home. <laughs> I can't Ray. do this anymore. <laughs> Ray. Ray. Shop a pension so home. What the hell even is that? <laughs> yeah. Pension home. Yeah. Care home. Half care of home. them were dead. We got that. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he only got like three years because they already <laughs> finished their life. Oh, that's so bad. Dark humor. Oh. Okay, I think that it was something to do with money um, or fraud, like something to do with fake things. Okay, and you? Like money laundering or like fake money or something like that. Yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, calm. On yours? Wait, no, wait. wait. You're not going to like. No, I can't give any hints, go. Uh, possession of a firearm without a license. Okay, so you got to remember, try to think of what the bio is saying as well. Like, bad it's not much gentleman. to work with. To wait, bad boy gentleman. Kidnapped a woman. Bad boy gentleman. I got it. What? He's a pimp. That's quite a good guess, but I'm not, I'm not giving anything away. It's just a good thing to, to think actually about. Pretty good guess. He's a pimp. He has he um yeah he looks after maybe prostitutes and he has a brothel. He got caught with a brothel. Damn, just gave us a whole backstory. <laughs> it was five a.m. They busted in the doors. He was not ready. <laughs> um, it has to be something to do with women. Yeah, it's. Maybe stalking a woman. Oh, okay. that was a good one. Right. Oh, so we're locking it in? Locking yeah, it in? Yeah. And locking it in? Yeah, but his is Okay. Good. And the answer is stalking. Oh, He's got it. Ray. <laughs> that was sick. That was Ray, that was a really... I knew it as soon as you said it. I knew that was what it you, was. You're dying inside. Why are you pretending to be happy? No, 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 I'm not happy for you. I just think it's interesting that you got it right. I think it's mad that like you both got have got a point already and it's only been the first two people. Like, I don't think I'd even be able to guess it. That's really? quite mad. Yeah, I don't know. That was no, sick. The pimp was a good guess. That was a good the guess. pimp was good as well. I felt like if it wasn't that, it would have been something like that yeah. from his bio. Damn, okay. bad boy gentleman. But that's so funny. It's like, I'm a loving, caring person. I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll treat you good, but if you try to leave, I ain't letting you go. <laughs> yeah, literally, Sounds that's like a vibe. No one laughing at my jokes apparently today. Oops, sorry. Okay, rude. Okay. This is so fun. How many more do we have? A few more. Um, the next person here, guys, is a female. Oh. And uh, this is what she looks like. Take a look. Oh, don't show Ray's going to get excited, bro. <laughs> oh, she's actually <laughs> Link. <laughs> 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 
Don't be you mean. know what it is, yeah? Don't she would have be been mean. nice, but that piercing above the top lip always puts me off. Oh, why don't you not worry those. about what's on other women's, women's top lips. lip and worry about how much money's in your bank? Ooh. Me and Ray are just like very... But I support men, she supports women, that's what it is. I su- I'm a meninist. I support women's rights and wrongs. Okay, so here's the bio. <laughs> I- <laughs> that's that is cool. so true. I am looking to connect with anyone interested in building building a positive connection with someone looking to better their life. Before coming here, I worked as a waitress at a club whilst going to school part-time. Some of my interests include nature, traveling, dancing, and going on adventures. I'm also an avid tattoo and pit bull lover. She is 5'5", red hair, blue eyes, and 36 years old. What's her body count? <laughs> no. <Whoa. laughs> how long is it she says in here, fi- no, I'm uh, How long is she in for? Okay, so she went in in 2022 and she is coming out 2024 oh these are not serious ones yeah these are man ones oh. well, what, what you lot think it is tell me um, I need to see her. Are there any more photos of her no that's it okay let me see that but photo I feel like again. It's the second we see 10 years it's kind of obvious why they've got it yeah true actually okay okay so she got two years hmm she likes pit bulls um she likes tattoos is it like a specific this isn't like a specific crime like is this a crime you would say happens this one is way more detailed than like the other ones okay oh raw oh to be honest there's multiple in here damn okay she's done it multiple times but then she's only got two years no there's multiple things she got charged with not just one oh over time or is it at one time I think she got a DUI do you know what DOI is? Give Driving us. under the influence. Okay, I was about to test you. Abe didn't know what it was, so he says, but no. do you know what that <laughs> is? I know, well, I knew what it was. <laughs> Go. Okay, wait, I don't think it is a DUI. Hold um, on. She left her child in she left her child in a parking lot car while she went in and went shopping and the windows were open. If the windows were open, child open. neglect. Two years for that. Okay. No, actually you're right. Damn it. Why are you giving a clue? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. <sighs> um Think about the bio. I'll read it again. Yeah, go. I am looking to connect with someone, with anyone interested in building a positive connection with someone looking to better their life. Before coming here, I worked as a waitress at a club while going to school part-time. Some of my interests include nature, traveling, dancing, and going on adventures. I'm also an avid tattoo and pit bull lover. She's done it multiple times, um, stealing from a workplace. I think she got caught prostituting damn okay. no no I'm joking I'm joking <laughs> no would you be <laughs> I mean, you can't give a guess and then realise you're wrong and say I'm joking she's, she's going off my reactions I need to stop reacting that's yeah. Why. Yeah, yeah okay no no okay wait so she you have to lock in your results in no, five no 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 stop four. Like, hey, I don't work well under pressure okay please. we have to get on to okay, the next no, one okay no 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 wait wait so wait so she went to by the way, this is part of the podcast that's the funny bit, is us deciding. I know, but... We're not doing a game show. I know, we are. But it's this like is a game discussion show. as well. Yeah, but you're cheating. Yeah. yeah. I'm not cheating. It was only once. All right, go. You're going to laugh at my joke. Okay, right. So, she works in a club. I'm assuming it's a strip club. But wait, didn't she say waitress as well? Yeah. So, she yeah. got three jobs. She's not a stripper. No, but she might not be a stripper. She got three jobs, which tells me she's about making money in it. So, she works in a club. She's a waitress. And she, oh no, she goes to school on the side. So she's about making money. She's trying to get that money, which means that she's willing to do anything to make money. No, because so, she wouldn't be working so hard if she was willing to go through other sources to make money. No, not necessarily, because she needs the legit sources so that when the government comes to her, benefit fraud. Okay, and yours? She was nah, pretending I, she was like, maybe it's benefit. I know people that do legal activities. They don't work that hard on the side to, to look like they're legit. They, mm-hmm. if, the whole reason why you make illegal money is to make your life easier. You don't work your ass off while making illegal money. <laughs> that don't make sense. Damn, okay. you're right. So, Ray? Um, I think... Uh, assault again. Okay. So, you both have one point, right? Yeah. So far? She got... I'm gonna, let me finish saying them all before everyone gets... In the interrupting, first one was delivery of heroin, delivery of meth, theft one, felon of a possession of a firearm, uh, aggravated identity theft. Oh, 
Why didn't I think of that? What, all of those? <laughs> the identity theft. The first one was... So, you You kind of... You didn't lock in theft, though. You said theft at one no, point. No, but you didn't like, lock oh, it in. That, she's stealing from her workplace. That could have, like... That could have got yeah. you a point. Oh, oh damn it. Was, they she, were kind of obvious as well. She did it all, bro. And she only got two years. I used to go to America. How bad was that? She was not working jobs there. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Damn. And she only got two years. Yeah, that is a bit No, crazy. she must have been in and out she though. She debunked my whole shit. I, was I like, think yeah, she, she must have been in and out though. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Ray, you're you're a bad judge of character, bro. This is why girls keep ruining your life. Whoa. No, there's no way. Who says women are ruining my life? You. I'm happy. Allah <laughs> And okay, so next one we have here. This. We'll take a look at the picture before we move on. She stole someone's baby. Wait, oh damn. Ray can't oh, see. Oh, she's cute, but that looks like a picture from like 2012. Yeah, literally on like a Nokia. All right, so her bio says, I'm very positive, outgoing and caring. I love to spend time outdoors, camping, barbecues and bonfires, just to name a few. I'm currently in school working towards my bachelor's degree. I'm looking to meet a positive and, f and fun people with good outlook on life. She is five foot ten, brown hair, brown eyes. She's thirty four years old. She was incarcerated in two thousand and seventeen, and her release date is twenty twenty five. Ooh, hmm. finally some some length to it. I think she kidnapped a child. Damn. I think she kidnapped a child. I'm gonna stick to that one. Um. Or, oh, she looks like the sort to like cover up for her boyfriend doing something messed up like if her boyfriend kidnapped someone and she maybe covered for him and like lied to him or like hid evidence mm -hmm. i feel yeah what are you thinking she likes camping <laughs> <laughs> that means she wants to go and hide maybe drugs she went and went hunting in a place where she wasn't supposed to <laughs> oh okay, okay. <laughs> no, no no that's not my guess um i think she uh, seven years Seven years. Nah, she definitely kidnapped a child. Seven years is eight, mad. Eight, eight years, actually. It's eight. It's mad because in the UK, you'll get seven years for like the smallest stuff. Like, I feel like in America, they're more lenient. Is it eight years? More things are legal there as well. I think that on. she... Oh, yeah, that's true. I think she kidnapped a child. Why so specific, though? Okay, maybe not a child. She kidnapped Kidnapping. someone. Okay, that's a good one. She's infertile, so she had to kidnap a child. That's what I was thinking, wallah. Wallah, I was thinking that. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go with kidnap as well. So you're both trying to lock in the same point. Losers. Okay, so what she was incarcerated for was fraudery of credit cards. Oh, damn it. And There's a drug violation. To that. Yeah. And what, sorry? And a drug violation. Oh, she looks like a kidnapper. She does look a bit like a kidnapper. I feel bad. Like she looks like, you know that person that comes and be the nanny for your child, but then she falls in love with the child and then she takes the child. That's, that's a bit deep. I, that's... Very detailed. No offense, no offense. Okay, I need to stop being so in detail when I start doing like theft and this. And yeah, that. yeah, be, be a bit more broad so you can like okay, capture yeah, the yeah, scope. Yeah, of true. Right. Okay, hit me, hit me. Ray, we've both got one point each. Yes, we do. <coughs> whoever loses, wait, whoever loses. Can we have a forfeit? Yeah, forfeit is. I've got a bogey. We have to eat it. <laughs> nah, the forfeit can be on the Patreon. Okay, the forfeit, it will be on the Patreon, but let's say we have to answer whatever question the other person puts forward. Yeah, sure. Awesome. Okay. And first question, you have to answer it, honestly. Damn, that's mm -hmm. intense. Okay, so the next guy we have here, everyone look at the picture. Okay. That's a big one. You must be able to see that. Come on. Yep. Right, so his bio says... Man got gold in that one. I don't, I don't think he did. I'm a Christian like man. If you're reading this, then I am already blessed. Take the next step and download the Getting Out app. I am in, well, this guy's just like not even giving a bio. He's just telling you exactly to hit me up. Um, <laughs> he's like, the only way I can communicate is text. I don't know how I have access to the internet. Hope to oh hear from God, you. Oh my God, we can text them. Yeah, you can literally text. You're lying. She's going to ask him straight. What would you do? I'm going to game right now. <laughs> oh my God, I'm texting one. I'm texting one. Okay, so this man is 6'1", blonde, green eyes. He's 35 years old. He was put to, into jail at in 2017 his release date is unknown. Oh, that's oh. true. Okay, what's your guess? Um, I'm going to say he is gang violence. I think he touched a kid. 
I am. Is that what yes. you get from his picture? Yeah, no, it's just the way he said in the beginning, I'm a Christian, I've, I'm religious, I've been in the church. Yeah, wow, 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 whoa, 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 sterilizing. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> sterilizing. Stereotyping, yeah. mate. Yeah. That's not nice. We don't like it when they do it to us about the bombings and terrorism. Yeah, Come yeah. on. I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing. Don't do that. Um, um, okay, can we use a different word instead of saying it like sterilizing. that? Let's say you think he groomed someone or... Grooming a child. Okay, and you? I think it was gang violence. And the answer is second degree murder. What? Yes, and what does second degree murder mean? No, first mean? of all, because that could be related to gang violence. What does second degree murder mean, though? Like, Maybe what's the it difference between that, like, um, first degree and second It means that degree? it wasn't really hot that day. That's <laughs> 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 funny. Hey, what's his name? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how long he got. I mean... I know what he got. He got a life sentence. Oh, you said unknown. No, no. I, like, I didn't want to say it was a life sentence because then you'd know. Oh. Yeah, but that's the only things you get license for, murder or touching kids. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, keep saying touching kids. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see his name while you t- show me the other one? Why? Because I want to see um, who he killed and it could be gang violence and I could get a point. That's a bit like... What do you mean? I could much. get a point if it was a gang-related crime. Okay. I take shit seriously. Uh, that's the name. He was convicted by a jury of second-degree murder of... I'm just going to say A. Um... Attempted murder, assault with a semi-automatic firearm, discharging a firearm at an occupied vehicle and being a felon in possession of a firearm. The jury also found true allegations that he personally used a firearm causing great bodily injury or death. We know that. So the victim went to a convenience store and ran into people he knew. A verbal confrontation um, ensued and the other party called the person that we're speaking about and others went to the scene for reinforcement. He then punched him and then later went to a house where he was and, yeah, he just shot him. Okay, so it's, it's there's not, not gang. So it's not right. really gang. You've got some lipstick on your teeth. <sighs> okay, this is, should we do this last one or two more? No, what do you mean? We need two more because then... Oh, okay, okay, we'll do two more no, just to make it fair. One. It'll be a tiebreaker. No. Imagine it ties up again. Okay, if one of us gets this point, then we'll yeah, do... Yeah, if no one gets this, we'll do one more. Okay, cool. <clears throat> okay, so this is the man in question. Oh, he's cute. He looks so nice. He looks so nice. (laughs) He looks so like caring. Yeah. uh, Yeah. (laughs) Looks can be deceiving. Yeah. Okay. So he is. Actually, let me read his bio first. All right. (laughs) Ready? Yeah. Have you ever felt pain so deep from this life experience that ignites a flame inside of your soul (laughs) that burns so intense that both demonic and angelic forces were invoked? Purging out of you all of your traits of past unworthy character. This is a spoken word right now. Whilst feeling the fire and desire to become the greatest person you can be, purifying your mind and heart in hope that one day, at the end of this dark tunnel, you finally meet the light of your dreams. Every day. Every day. <laughs> okay, so that is him. He is... <clears throat> he hasn't said his height, but he's bald, he's bald and brown. Eye colour. <laughs> 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 like, and he's brown. No, he's bald and he's got a brown eye colour. Sorry, I was reading just like bald and then brown. Um, and he's 29 years old. Oh, wow. Yes. I think he went in for right Wait, how long does he get? Time. How long does he get? <laughs> he went in in 2019 and his release day is 2034. Oh, let me see. Let me see him again. He went in for having the same girl as Asha. Same what? Oh, I was just trying to say that he's a pedophile. Same girl. Nah, I don't think he is. Underage girls. No, no, I was trying to say he looks like R. Kelly, but... He just looks nothing like R. Kelly. Um, Yes, he does. I know R. Kelly personally. (laughs) I'm joking. That's messed up. (laughs) Okay, wait. So, okay. How many years did he get? He went in 2020. He went in actually 2017. No, 2019, sorry. 2019 and he's got... He's going out in 2034. 15 years. Okay, so... No, so not murder. 15 years. Oh, it is 15 years. Yeah, you're right. That's, that's he, a murder. Mm, I think he didn't just murder them. <laughs> I think... Go broad. You keep. You want to go into detail. Oh, okay. Ugh, sorry, I thought it'd be fun. But to guys, remember... Seems like a passionate guy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Think about the passion. Like, What could ensue someone so passionate to do something I'm illegal? I'm a passionate guy. <laughs> what would I? Oh, to he think. does something really me? evil. Um, yeah, he definitely killed someone for his wife or something. Oh, yeah. Was it like a sad crime? No, but they wouldn't say why he done it. Yeah, they just give it. But you could probably search the name and find out. Okay, so I think that he... 
Damn, this is I'm full pressure. What are the crimes? Let's is, speak about the crimes. I feel like that's one of the two underage girl, or he he Ooh. killed someone for his wife. Okay, let's speak about the crimes that there are in this world. There's murder. There's R. Then there's burglary, arson, kidnap. Mm -hmm. There's not like firearms. Fifteen years. Um, Come on, did you say firearms? I don't think in America you get done for much for firearms uh, as you think. I think it's harder, yeah, to get done for. Oh yeah, it's not like the same, yeah. Yeah. So I think <clears throat> that he passionate. So it's nothing to do with money. I don't think. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it's money related because he looks like the sort of guy where I think it's got something to do with a woman. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I think uh, he got cheated on and killed the guy. <laughs> okay, so murder. Murder. And yeah, you? but 15 years, you'd get longer than that, no? No, 15 years. And you? Oh, frick. I'm under pressure. Okay, 15 years. He's very passionate. He's like a got away with words. <laughs> I think that he is... Mm, I wish he was specific because I would be so good with specific, specific ones. Okay, yeah. I'm going to say that he... Drugs. No, 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 wait, wait. That's what? <laughs> that was completely different. <laughs> Passionate about drugs. <laughs> I think kidnap and murder. Okay, and his incarceration was for assault. Oh. Which is a bit more basic. To be fair, assault is close to murder. No, but he didn't actually kill anyone, so... But sorry, that's brother. so annoying. How did he get 15 years for assault? It could have been very bad, like close. Close, close to murder. Close to murder. Is that oh. a thing? I wish we could do, like, sp you know what you should do oh, next time, Ayo? Why didn't he die? Specifically find out. <laughs> <laughs> no, specifically find out what it is and write it down in your notes with yeah. it. So, like, and whoever gets, anyway, oh, it's a draw. Oh, if it's a draw, we both have to answer each other's question. Okay, cool. Why are you there giving me <laughs> evils this whole episode? Have I done something to you? Uh, but giving you evils? Yeah, you're giving me evils. I haven't got my glasses on. I'm trying to see what you look like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was just doing like, what's well. you doing to me right now? I just keep seeing Ray go like this. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing it the whole time here as well. I was like, it's a big row, this guy. Oh my God, something? Ray. Last time I was on it, I had contact lenses on and then something's happened to my eye in between that time. So I have to just sit here blindly because I have insecurities about wearing my glasses in front of people. So. Oh, Don't be insecure. Who cares what they think? Oh, we both have to ask each other the question. So... We both lost that round mm -hmm. yeah. and we're going to ask each other some juicy questions and it's going to be our second episode on our Patreon. So if you do want to watch the next episode of Ray where I'm hoping he'll stop giving me evils and loosen up a bit so he can stop putting on his best side for girls that might DM him and want to marry him. Yeah. I haven't been attractive the least in this video. Come on. Huh? Have I? You're a very attractive man. Oh, He's fishing you. for compliments. Yeah, so if you want to watch basically part two of this with Ray, then make sure you check out our Patreon. Wait a minute, it's coming out on Wednesday. Yeah, this, the part two will be coming out on Wednesday. So it's midweek. So yeah, and exciting. And I keep a 30% of the cut of the revenue of every... Yeah, so yeah, he gets 30% yeah. of um, this fist. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the other... Oh, 70, I was trying to do the maths. <laughs> <laughs> I was going like, to say 60, but it's 70. Was this fist? <laughs> Okay, guys, that is all for today's episode. We want to say thank you to Ray for joining us. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, brother. Pleasure's all mine. And yeah, guys, don't forget to check out the Patreon. We have a load of stuff from there coming. A new episode every week. That's an extra episode. You lot have been wanting it. Exciting. And we're giving it to you. And there will be another episode of Ray. So if you enjoyed this one. Yeah, yeah. You will yeah, get another yeah. one of Ray, inshallah. Um, but yeah, Ray, where can I find you? They can find me on the socials, which I've been ghosting recently, but I'll be back soon, Rafi247. Yep, and Nishra, where can they find you? You can find me at it's Nishra on Instagram and TikTok. You can find me at Kayla Kasha on all social media platforms. Don't forget to follow us at the Label Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. Guys, check out the Patreon. Big things coming, a lot of fun. And yeah, that's where the real stuff's going down, so you're missing out if you're not there. We will see you lot next week. Peace. Bye.